Well, good morning. It is actually a Sunday. We were just at church and so now I'm gonna just do some things around the house. We had some friends over last night and we didn't get to bed till about midnight. So I'm gonna kind of do a little bit of cleaning. I need to do some canning. My two lugs of peaches came in yesterday and the peaches are pretty ripe and ready. I have some corn I picked. So I'm gonna take care of some of that today. Um, husband's home, of course, so it's kind of nice because he can play with the girls some. He was gone all day yesterday, so I didn't have the opportunity to do as much as I would have liked. And so this might be a video of a compilation of a couple days, or it might just be today, depending on how much we get done, because I'm kind of looking forward to a nap this afternoon, too, during the girls' nap time. But I just thought I'd bring you along on whatever this vlog may look like. Corn is all done. I got four quart size bags. They're not full, but that's enough for us four. And I got things kind of cleaned up in here. I didn't clean the floor yet, but the girls have been down for a nap a little bit already. So I think I'm gonna go take a nap, take out the garbage as I put my corn cubs in there, and then take a nap. So I did get about a half hour napping, which was really refreshing. So now I'm gonna jump into canning some honey sweetened peaches. I follow the Prairie Homestead recipe. It's really good. My girls love it. It's so good on ice cream, just as a side, and it's just delicious. So I'm gonna get going on that. All right, so I'm gonna drop my peaches into some boiling water for two minutes, and then put them in an ice bath, and they'll be so much easier to peel. And then back here, I have my nine cups of water and one cup of honey going. Well, peaches are done. They are sitting on the cutting board for 24 hours and they just look beautiful. That bright color with the stick of cinnamon in there. So excited for those to go on my pantry shelf downstairs. No, they're hot. All right, so Hillary and Old World Home inspired me to get some new measuring cups and measuring spoons because I have these I found out thrifting and they're getting pretty worn. Um, and I just was ready. Like you can't read the bottom of that one. That one's gross. I was ready for something nicer. So I got all of these and all of these measuring spoons. They're kind of just a copper, hammered copper color. So those will be really fun and nice to have. Like I love thrifting for things like this, but sometimes it's just nice to have something beautiful right away. And then I got these two soap dispenser jars. One for just some like cast oil soap to use in the bathroom and one for my daughter's um, body wash 
and hair soap that I've been making for three years. So um, I do need to make some more of that. So maybe I'll get going on that here because it is bath night. So maybe I'll put some in there for them. So after Peaches, we went for a walk in the mist outside. It was so fun and so just kind of beautiful and cool. It's in the 70s. I put on some sweatpants, which is very rare for me to do. But I'm gonna make our supper, which on Sunday nights, we usually just have smoothies and really pop popcorn. So it's just something super simple where I don't have to stress about and I know what is being made. So before bath, I'm gonna put together some soap that I make for my girls. And I've done this, like I said, for three years. So sorry, the dishwasher's running right here. But it's cast oil soap, um, like coconut oil, glycerol, oops, some essential oil, and some distilled water. Super easy. Let's open this. Just a nice body wash and hair wash for little kids. Or for you, probably, if you would want it. So now it is bath time. So those DIYs are so easy. I'll link where I got it from the description box and the products because you just get them off of Amazon. Well, yesterday I didn't end my vlog because I had a bit of an incident. So I was so I was trying to get my new measuring cups open and chop my thumb and it was very deep and I get a queasy stomach a little bit and I ended up pretty much passing out. So I just then ended up sitting on the couch, Blaze put the girls to bed, and I just was exhausted after that. And I've passed out many times before from certain blood type related incidences. So I knew, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna pick up the camera again. So I didn't get everything done. I didn't even get my sticky floor clean. I didn't get some of my sourdough made, some of the things I wanted to make with sourdough. So I'm gonna continue the video today. So hopefully I get, some other things done. It's a lot harder to work when you have a pretty deep cut and a sore thumb. I had a big gauze wrap on it yesterday. So now I just reduced it to a band-aid so I could get some tasks done. But I hope to get a few more things accomplished today and just share some of that with you as well. from Aldi it's just the comfort mat so they're memory foam or foam um, I switched out my gray one so we'll see if I like this one or not I like the blue pattern in here it's very pretty Let's see it. so I think I'll keep it and the floor is clean it's always good to get like all the grime that's under there too it's always nice to refresh flowers and you see me pick them all the time so I didn't need to film that but I just love this zinnia in there and my echinacea and some tansy. All right, so I thought to use some of my sourdough starter. I'm gonna make Lisa's Farmhouse on Boon um, brownie. So it calls for only half a cup of sourdough. So then I think I'm gonna make some sourdough banana bread that I 
make regularly and just stick it in the freezer so that'll use a cup of it because i just fed it this morning and it needs to be used up because on wednesdays we always do something with sourdough like pancakes or waffles or something like that so i have it's monday when i'm filming this second part here so i still have two more days until i need to use some more sourdough so i'm gonna use some of that up and um, just get going on it so we have some treats and some breads and things like that and i have a church meeting tonight so i'll take some of the brownies with as well because it makes a 9 by 13 pan <laughs> are in the oven banana bread is waiting to go in and i got everything else done that i was hoping to get yesterday so i hope you enjoyed this day and a half of coming along with me and sundays are usually pretty relaxed things like baking and canning i really enjoy those so that is my day of rest and i was able to get a nap yesterday had you know a little incident on my thumb but it was still a good day and having you come along today was really enjoyable too so I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of getting some kitchen things done. Have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in the next one.